Okay, so for this question, you can see that 2m n and negative 6n have a common factor of n and 2. m square and negative 3m have a common factor of m. So first we'll factorize these out, so it would be 2n bracket m minus 3. So you've already factorized this and this plus m bracket m minus 3. So you can see that m minus 3 is common in both, so you could factorize it even further, which would be 2n plus m times with m minus 3. You can cross check your answer by expanding the bracket, which would give you the same answer as the question. Okay, for the next question, you can see that 4 and 81 are square numbers, so you can square root them, which gives you 2y, and the square root of 81 is 9, so 2y plus 9, and 2y minus 9. It can be plus because if you expand it, you won't get the same answer above. It's minus, and you can check this, because when you multiply it out, you get 4y square minus 18y plus 18y minus 81. So the minus 18y plus 18y equals to 0. So it's only 4y square minus 81. And because it's minus, it means a opposite sign should times each other. So it's only plus and minus. So the answer is 2y minus 18. So for the next question, I drew this grid and I wrote down the value. So the values on the left are the ones you times and the value on the right are the ones you add. So because it's minus 6, we know that the, the symbol would be minus. And because 8 is a positive number, we would know that the symbol are the same. So I did that and found the answer because minus 4 plus minus 2 gives us minus 6 and that will give us t minus 4 bracket t minus 2 and you can check your answers by expanding out the brackets again. So for this question, I'm just going to bring x to the other side, so it would be kx equals to 2m minus x. So I'm going to bring x to the other side, which would give us x plus kx equals to 2m. So we can see that x is common, so we can factorize that. So x bracket 1 plus k equals to 2m. So we can bring 1 plus k to the other side, which would give us x equals to 2m over... 1 plus k and we factorize x out so the answer is 2m over 1 plus k so for this question I'm gonna use the elimination method but you could also use the substitution method so I'm gonna multiply this equation by 3 so I can get rid of the y variable which would give me, which would give me 15x plus 3y equals to 84. This is my first equation and my second equation is 1 over 2x minus 3y equals to 9 which is the same equation that's given. So now I'm just gonna add these two equations so I can get rid of the y variable. But, but because there are different signs, I'm adding them. And if I were to minus them, 
they should be the same sign so for example 3y plus 3y so if I minus this it will give me 0 and for this example it's 3y plus minus 3y which will still give me 0 so that's why I added them the goal is to get rid of the y variable so you want to get rid of it so you other you either plus or minus according to the situation so I added this so you're getting 15.5x equal to 93 so x equals to 93 over 15.5 which would give me a value of 6 yeah okay so from this equation I wait no okay so from this equation I made y the subject so 5x plus y goes to 28 I br brought 5x to the other side which is 28 minus 5x so I made y the subject and because we already found x y would be 28 minus 5 bracket x which is 28 minus 30 which is negative 2 so for this, uh, for this question I want to make the denominator the same so I times I cross multiply them so 3m over m bracket m plus 4 minus 4 bracket m plus 4 over m bracket m plus 4 equals to 6 so now it will be 3m minus 4 minus 16 over m square plus 4m equal to 6 now I'm gonna bring m square plus 4 to the other side that will be 3m minus 4 which I could just simplify would be minus m minus 16 equals to 16 bracket m square plus 4m so now I'm just gonna expand the bracket which is 6m square plus 24m and now I'm gonna bring minus m and minus 16 to the other side which would give me 0 equals to 6m square plus 24m plus m my plus 16 and these are like terms so we can simplify them which would be 0 equals to 6m square plus 25m plus 16 so for this question you need to know the quadratic rule which quadratic formula which is minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so our a, b and c are 6, 25 and 16 so it's 6, 25 and 16 so now we're just gonna sub in all the values into the formula So it be minus 25 plus minus 25 square minus 4 times 6 times 16 over 2 times 6 which would simplify to minus 25 plus minus Two hundred and forty one over twelve. So now we're going to find the value of x, which is minus twenty five plus square root of two hundred forty one over twelve and minus twenty wait minus twenty five minus two hundred and forty one square root over twelve. Now you just put this into your calculator to get your values and remember you need to give your answers in two decimal places because it's in the question so I got minus 0 0.789 and because it's again two decimal places I'm going to round it off which will give me minus 0 0.79 the same for the other one which is minus 3.377 which would give me minus 3.38 so 
RM is minus 0.79 and minus 3.38.